I'm try to to uh, talk a little now live before they coming back from lunch. Those workers in this house. Uh, we'll see how far we can go. And uh, I am talking about what happened yesterday when I met God. It's um, It was a very nice experience, very, very nice experience. And uh, yeah, I know some of my old friends on Facebook have left me because uh, they don't believe in this sort of things. But I believe that God uh, can use so many different tools to reach us, to talk to us. So this was one of the tools when no no person, no no organization, no church, no 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 one have helped me. So I so I uh, had to reach out for alternative help when no one want to help me. So I heard, you know, I'm prophetic person. So I heard from God before this happened. And he said to me, it was so fragile, this message. So if I have not been in experience of God is talking to me, I should not have known that he was talking to me. But I heard it. And he said to me, you are going to buy a man. And I I have many, many single young men that, that want to come to Sweden from Africa and marry me from Africa. So I was thinking first that God was talking about to pay for an airplane ticket and all those paper for a man to come from Africa to Sweden, as I am a single woman. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It was that way he was talking to me, to buy a man to help me and with my life. So uh, just after some days, maybe two or three days, uh, I, it was something that, that told me something, maybe something I, I, I uh, saw on, on the internet or something that make me as, uh, search for if there is any hypnosis uh, man or woman that could help me to hypnotize me and go back to that time in 2000, year 2000, when God come to my home and uh, to my home and there was my daughter, who she was 15 years old. She was also with me, but she never heard God talking. She heard other things that was going on with, with spirit things, but she did never heard God. But I heard God, and the first I saw, I didn't saw God, but I saw in, in the spirit that it was a clock in the air. So I saw the time. And then when everything was over, I, it was a, a clock coming in the spirit again. And I saw it had gone two and a half hours from the first clock to the second clock. So, and I could only remember 
small fragment, not much of what God was talking to me. And now I had so much disturbing in my life, very much. And I understood this must be a force, something, a force that I don't see. But I, I understand there is a force because every time in many years now, since 2000, many times when I think I go and get the blessing and I see it coming to me, but it's like cutting off. So I never get it. Something hold the blessing back. And it's a force in the spirit world where we we can't see it, but it exists. It's there. And I wanted, I be, uh, for example, I met my love of my life uh, for uh, one week ago, and and uh, I for. After 40 years, I met him again, Sunday, and we start to talk. And I start to feel this love again. Then it cut off. Everything cut off. Every blessing is cut off. Something disturbs it. So I have to reach it. I have to find out. What it caused this problem in my life, caused this unbalance. It's, I have never get any real joy in my life. I can't really relax. So as soon as I can relax and feel like, oh, everything is going right way and everything is okay. Then suddenly it's coming, disturbing things. Now, uh, lately, it was this with the thieves. When I was in the United States in November, I had thieves in my home that steal many, many things from me. And I had to go to the police with it. And it disturbed me so much in my life. And, and, the, and I understand the target is to, for us that have this, to not focus on what we should do, not focus on God, not focus to be right. That's it's a, a force, you know, the Bible say that we are not, we are not fighting against those things that we can see and, and hear in our daily life. It's, the spirit enemies, and I have it so much, and I start to understand. I got confirmed, really, that that uh, I am very important for God. So this force want to disturb. They they don't give up. They. They know God is going to win in in the long run, but they try the best they can do to disturb me, to not get me focus on what I should do. The most important things I should do in life is to walk the path and going back to God, to God's kingdom, and join me. God, then when my time is out here on earth, I, I want to, and I need to join God or else I go the other way. I have to focus on the light. And so I was to the, this man that is a really known person here in Sweden and it's expensive to do it, but I need to do it to get in touch in this 
force that stop every blessing to come through. I have got much blessing in money, but it's not in my whole life because I'm single and I don't want to stay single. And I want to have a family. I don't have a family. And uh, so yesterday I didn't, I was frightened and I, I was frightened about hypnosis because you hear so much negative about it, especially from Christian people. Uh, and, uh, and, and I know now, today, that it was the devil talking, talking from Christian people that hypnosis is, is crazy, to, uh, that they take over those people that do it. But it wasn't like that yesterday. I was very worried. And, and I lay down on the bed and I relaxed, he said. And then he, he took me down in trance. And when I was away, but I could hear and think. I could hear myself and think and everything. I was like normal. The only thing God had done for me that was that I, my heart was up here and it was going and knocking, knocking, and I almost, uh, I could take it out, my, my pulse. And, uh, I, and when he, I go down in the trance, I was thinking, no, I'm going to tell him that I, my body is reacting weird. It's so much heart up in my throat. Uh, but I, I, then I was thinking, no, I let it be like that. And it was a measurement from God because it, it, it was stopped after when I go back up again from the, the, the trance, I, it was no nothing with the heart anymore. It, I was totally relaxed. So it was a messer meant from God to do this. So I went down and uh, I was in a beautiful, beautiful garden and it was very green. It's not the, those color that, that we have here on earth. It's so much brighter so much more color of it. And it was a man walking there that I know. I felt it was Jesus. And he walking and touch. I took it down uh, the branches, branches for me and, and showed me the leaves. It was green leaves and he, he had a white robe on him, but he had a, a red mantle over his shoulder. And he walked there and he said to me, everything, this is, this is, everything is yours, he said to me. And that, you know, that you have followed me before, you know that he has said that to me. So that's only something I remember that I recognize that's what you have told me before, 12 years ago, like that. And, um, and then suddenly I saw it was light coming from, from the right side of the garden. And it was, and my, my hypnosis, the man, he asked me, what do you see in the light, he said. I, I say uh, it's too bright for me to could look at it. It's so bright, white, white light. But then when I tried to look into it, I saw 
I say it was six men, and I uh, about like that. It was with white robe and white hair, long white hair. And uh, when I saw them, I saw behind him, them, it was an opening, but I, it was so bright, so I couldn't see uh, what building it was. But it was an opening because it was darker there. So I went to that opening and suddenly it changed. So I was, I saw a little girl was going with them and she had taken their hand, one of the man's hand and walked with him and uh, he, and uh, there was those other men was behind them and like told them to walk forward like a, a wall to go go there and and the the, the man hypnosis say how do you feel and I said I am <laughs> and I have this a child voice I heard it. Are you not frightened? I am a child and I'm curious. <laughs> so it was me when I was eight years old. I was very much in the spirit. I was a very spiritual child. Uh, and in the year 2000, that was the first that come forward before Jesus Christ come and, and God come was that little girl come to me and I knew it was me as a child, eight years old child. And now she come back and she walk into the, this tunnel with white walls. It was not dark, it was more gray. And uh, suddenly we come in with this girl in a big spheric, very cupola building, but, but I didn't see the building, I see it inside the throne room that it was very And the girl standing there, and it was a throne there, a big throne. And the girl, I, I saw. The eyes, I saw with the eyes of the girl that God was so big. He was not the human built man. He was so big. And the little girl, as she measured it, she said to this man, hypnosis man, that he's like 10 men big. He was so, and I said, but I'm not afraid, yeah, I'm not frightened because I'm a little girl and, and I, I see what I see. And he, he said, is it because of the love you feel? He said, the hypnosis, man. And I said, yeah, I feel that he is my father. He wants everything nice to me. He don't want to hurt me. I'm his child, <laughs> with his child's voice. And suddenly, God on his throne, he was high up because it was steps up to the throne and it was of gold. The, the steps, it was about 20 steps to go up to the throne. But I was standing, the girl, me, was standing on the floor. And suddenly, God said, I have chosen you. He said to me, and suddenly, when he said that, I have chosen you, it's come a red carpet down from the throne, down to where this girl was standing. And uh, 
I don't know if it was a carpet, if it was red blood that was running down to me. And uh, I don't want to say that. I only say those two options. And, uh, and then he has suddenly like a golden stick or those that royalty have in their hands. And uh, he take the golden stick and point it on me on the floor. And suddenly I saw, her because I was standing behind that girl, so I saw her as a shadow and the stick cut that girl in half. And in the same time, it split in two. It, the girl say, I'm grown up now. So she had, she grew up to be me that I am today. And it was close because someone else had the time for this hypnosis man. So next time I have to ask this, what this means, this that he cut, because it was a half. And where he had cut, it was still gold on the edge of the both, at least mine half the, on the right side. But the left side, it faded away. It didn't exist anymore. So the right side was only there. And it was dark green, the whole me and and then suddenly it come out as a shape as a butterfly but a half butterfly and that's where we end so i have written this man this night because it was hard to sleep because i was thinking what was going on yesterday so i write him that we need to take contact with that girl more because she had not had all these answers. She gonna answer me so I find out the whole truth. A little girl at eight years old, you never know what God used. And she was, dom she is dominating. She is my what is called as my spirit guide. <laughs> Eight years old. I have heard it before. So people have said that. It doesn't need to be a grown up and adult person to be a spirit guide with this little girl that is me. Because God's time is not our time. And the time uh, what we call time floating in the spirit world. So it can be yesterday, it can be in the future, it can be now. It's every time. So it, it go like that. So it's me as a child. But in the same time, I'm the spirit guide of myself. <laughs> it sounds weird for people that don't understand. Uh, or uh, at least that you try to understand it, that you hold an open mind about it, that it can be truth. And for me, is it truth? I, I start to understand the, the whole spirit world, and I know God, and I know how they react and say, and this is very strange that God told me that I'm going to buy a man and it come true because I pay him for to help me, help me to find myself, to find the truth, to find the answer of everything. And uh, I need to pay him and I gladly pay him. He's much 
better to pay to them a tying to a shirt that you only get some words from the Bible. But here is the whole thing, my whole life, your life also is there. It's the answer for you also. It's not only for me. It's not a, a private revelation. It's a revelation for the whole world because God was say, telling me that he had chosen me to be the, the messenger for him to you. So uh, I'm glad I, uh, God held up this work uh, so they didn't start with to drill or something. So I, I will tell you next time. It's uh, March, the 2nd of March, I'm going back to him. And we will know more what's going on in that world we can't see, but we can see the effect of it in our life. So thank you for watching and listen to me. God bless you. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you.